Hey guys, this Hi. is Amika with me. We are gonna show you guys how to make coffee mugs that represent your bestie. Yay. So um, we both made a couple of mugs um, on the DL from each other. Do you wanna see mine first or should I see yours first? Well, I might be jealous of yours, but yeah, <laughs> let's see yours first. Okay. <laughs> so when you're in town, we get to have coffee together. Um, when you're out of town, I miss you ever so much. Um, so I did one that like, I, I put California, which is much larger than it should be compared to Australia. It's beautiful. But what it says, best friends forever, never apart, maybe by distance, but never by heart. Aww, Aww. that's the sweetest. So mine, uh, cute and maybe not as impressive. Let me see. But it just shows that you don't have to be the best artist to create something cute. Oh my gosh, that's so, so cute. <laughs> best tea. I did best tea. And I did a little tea bag because it's really not hard to draw a straight line <laughs> and a square box. <laughs> I think it's so cute. Okay, let's show everyone at home what you need to make this. So first, a blank mug. Thank you. These are ceramic mugs that are completely plain. I'm gonna give you one and me one. Mm -hmm. um, then you need alcohol swabs because this will be your saving grace when you mess up. Um, you can also use rubbing alcohol in a, a little what do you call those things? Cotton, cotton swab? Yeah. See, I Something. need my best friend <laughs> to complete my thoughts. And then why don't you tell what and you And then have. we need markers. They have to be oil based. Mm -hmm. Why? Acrylic, you can wash off with warm water. You know, because we get acrylic paint on our hands and stuff all the time. And then mugs. We um, gotta wash them. We gotta wash them. All right. Uh, I wouldn't suggest, though, ever putting them in the dishwasher. No. Even though we are gonna bake them, so you also need an oven as well. But. Um, Just a good little hand yeah, wash. Yeah, a little hand wash. Little okay. Soap. And then paper, because we have to draw what we're gonna say. Okay, so what should we do? I think that we should do Soul Sisters. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. Yay. So I'll take Soul. Okay. You take Sisters. I'll take sisters. And then maybe a arrow? Ooh, cute. Let's do that. Okay. okay. Color or? I'm picking color. Okay. Let's go with it. Okay. So let's do this. Okay. Great thing about having um, Amika do projects with me is that she's left-handed and I'm right-handed. It's it very convenient. Perfectly. All right, so we have soul sisters. The other thing you can do, which is really cute, is you can write each other special little notes. Oh, yes. So you do like a little love letter to your bestie. Mm -hmm. So if you can't draw or you really have no skill like myself, you could write a letter. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just That'd a be special. so cute. And that'll be baked down forever. Exactly. So, okay, speaking of baking. So now we have to let these dry for 72 hours. That's right, 72 hours. Yeah. How many days is that? 24, 48. Three. Three. <laughs> Uh, you really want to make sure that it sets, then put it in, in the oven. So put it in the oven while the oven's cold, turn it up to 400, let it bake for about an hour. And then let it cool down in the oven. Yep. And even maybe leave it overnight. Mm -hmm. We are going to let these dry for 72 hours. Also our other ones. Now keep in mind that when you do put them in the oven, they actually might change colors just a little bit. It might deepen, kind of darken the colors, but it's pretty. It's really pretty. Yes. So I hope you guys have fun making your own mugs. We want to see them. So make sure you at Paige Hemis. Yes. Show us. Yay. And until then. Bye. bye.